Hey there and welcome to Let's Reason Together. We thank God for a new month. January is gone. February is here. We're breathing and so we give God glory. So you probably have heard of the saying, life is short. That is actually biblically true because we're told in the book of James that our tomorrow is not guaranteed. That our life here on earth is like a vapor which appears for a little while and then vanishes away. Speaking of the urgency of time, time is unpredictable. And then James asks an introspective question, what is your life? What is your life? What is the meaning of life to you? Is life all about the accumulation of wealth? Is life all about pleasure? Have you ever stopped to consider the spiritual side of life? We ought then to, to, to be wise in our living. How do we use our time? What do we do with our time? Remember, this life of ours is not our own. How do we steward this life that has been given to us of God? Do we include God in the affairs of our lives or do we simply lord over our lives independent of him? When we make plans in our lives, do we weigh these plans on a spiritual scale? Because the Bible says that a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his step. So whatsoever we do in word or in deed, we are to do in the name of Jesus. We live to serve God through Christ. Is our life serving Christ? Is our life serving God? What is your life? Jesus told a story of a rich farmer, a businessman, who he was so wealthy that he ran out of rooms to store his goods. And he thought to himself that he would build bigger barns where he would house all his goods and his crops. And he jubilated at the fact that for many years to come, he would have enough to eat, drink, and be merry. And God called him a fool. God said to him that his soul will be required of him that very night. And so if he dies, what will become of all the wealth that he has accumulated? What is your life? What is the meaning of life to you? The book of Ephesians tells us in chapter 5 to redeem the time. I read from verse 15. See then that you walk carefully, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, in which is excess, but be filled with the Spirit of God. God has given us a purposeful life, and are we living that life out just the way God has purposed us to live? Remember, our lives are not our own. Are we searching to know the will of God in our lives? Because that's the only way we would have meaning in this life. May we not be like the rich farmer who focused on the pleasures of life, the materialism of life, forgetting to honor God, forgetting to serve God. We should live with the perspective of eternity in mind. Remember this life, as I said, this life is not our own. We are unable to plan the course of our own lives. We need God. The least we can do is yield to God. Commit our plans in the hands of God. God who is all-knowing so that he will lead us to the right path, directing our steps, right? Rather than boasting in what we do not know, in what we are not sure of. And may the Spirit of God encourage us to redeem the time. I pray that God will make us realize the urgency of living for his glory and teach us to number our days that our hearts will gain wisdom. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.